How's it going, everybody? Ian back with another video. Uh, today, I am going to review um, the entire, basically, I'm going to explain what the Orphan X uh, novels are. I am currently in the middle of number seven, uh, Dark Horse. This is, of course, by Greg Horwitz. So, if you are into and this is going to be a non-spoiler stuff so don't have to worry about that this is just a i don't hear a whole lot of orphan x on this uh, community so i wanted to actually explain this so uh if you are into jack reacher um orphan x is probably going to be a book that you're going to like um also i've heard this compared and it's very very similar to the gray man series uh by uh, uh mark graney and uh, so if you're into any of those two bo uh, book series, definitely check out Orphan X. All right. So what is Orphan X? So uh, first of all, there are the books, uh, the books in the series. So number one, I've got the good grades pulled up, is called Orphan X. All right. Second one is called The Nowhere Man. And third one is Hellbent. The fourth is Out of the Dark. Fifth is Into the Fire, and six is Prodigal Son, and seven is Dark Horse. This just came out um, in February. So, uh, who is Orphan X? Orphan X is a, a man by the name of Evan Smoke, S-M-O-E-K, um, let me just make, no, A-K, S-M-O-A-K, I'm off to a horrible smart. So, I say smoke. Um, I don't. That's that's the way it sounds cool. Evan Smoke. So uh, he also goes by the Nowhere Man, hence the name of the second book, the Nowhere Man. So basically, who Evan is is he was a operative for the United States, um, and uh, it, he did some shitty shady things. I won't get into, but he did. Uh, he you know he. He was a he did a lot of wet work, um, and he got out of that business and kind of did his own thing, uh, and to repent for the sins that he uh, did while he was uh, doing all the the wet work for the you know contract work. Uh, he basically just goes around and he helps people who actually need it. They are the la the, the last thing uh, before you know their life completely unravels or they die basically. Uh, he has a cell phone uh, and he, he kind of, he gives out this cell phone number to individuals. Um, so he'll go one by one basically. And then the, the, when he gets done helping somebody, he will give them basically his calling card. It's, you know, one eight, eight, nowhere call that number. I think that's what it is. Something like that. And it goes to his cell phone and he, you know, do you need my help, basically? And they'll explain, and he can judge whether, okay, this is probably something that needs to be addressed. So, like I said, he'll go one by one. So it's just like a, a chain. Um, he'll, when he gets done with one mission, he will basically tell the person that uh, uh, if you know anybody who needs my help, call me. Call this number. Um, so, yeah, so he basically he's just going around uh, uh, you know, doing good and not necessarily saving the world, but saving someone's world. Um, all right. So, um, the main, the, the main part of the, I think the first three books is kind of set up as like a trilogy, if you will. Um, so Orphan X, Orphan X, uh, beginning back to his like origin again, well, not a spoiler. Basically he was, uh, taken as a child, um, and trained to be this master assassin. Um, and if the title suggests Orphan X, that means there's a whole bunch of other orphans out there. And that's what the first three books is made up of because now his fellow orphans and this, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the leader of that group, I won't say what's going on with that, um, he's decided to set... His, the other orphans, his fellow orphans, on Orphan X. That is the main gist of the first three books of him going up against his 
uh, counterparts. Um, great action. Uh, it's an amazing series. Uh, and, and you get the, the characters are very good. You know, he lives in a penthouse in New York City. So him interacting with his neighbors, because his neighbors have no idea. They think he's in sales. He's like a traveling salesperson. Um, there is a bit of some romance stuff. Um, he, uh, uh, you know, he starts falling in love with a, a lawyer that is in his building. And, you know, he's got to keep his work secret from her because she goes after people like him, basically. So that's, it's kind of like that dynamic as well. Um, but it's not, it doesn't, it, you know, it's not a totally romance story, stuff like that. You know, there's got, you put, there's those elements in there. But mostly it is him kicking ass. Um, you know, his, my favorite quote in this is, um, you know, this, this, uh, this villain, if you will, is giving him a huge, you know, he's, He's giving this speech, you know, how all villains give this speech, uh, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he, he's trying to explain now the world fears him and blah, blah, blah. And uh, Evan Smoke, he, he just kind of stares at him and says, look me in the eyes. Do you see fear? Do you think I'm scared? And just, that's just great. Uh, it's excellent. I really love this series. Cannot wait for the next book. Um it's not out yet. Uh, it hasn't been announced. It's not on good or anything. I'm sure he's working on it because this is a very, you know, very. I mean, he wouldn't have seven books if it wasn't popular. So that's what I've got. I didn't want to talk too much about it because I want you guys to experience uh, Orphan X like I did, um, which that's the fun. Uh, but yeah, so basically. Read as a trilogy, and if you, you know, the, the, then there's some spin-off stuff, kind of like that. There's some short stories I have not read, but um, uh, most of these, uh, these, the next uh, few books are kind of standalones. Um, the other books are standalone. The first three are standalones, but there is an overarching uh, story that comes to a close in the third book. So you can read the first trilogy. Um, and if that's the storyline you like, that those were the best storylines. Don't don't get me wrong. The 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 uh, four, five, and uh, four, five, six, and seven. They've got good storylines, but I really loved the first four, three books. So, anyway, that's what my thoughts are on this. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm right. Hopefully, uh, if you guys do pick up this series, you'll like it. Um, have a good one.